outsider, first in the firing line, was and is Lorraine Keane. Okay, today we're going to be delving inside the wardrobe of one of Ireland's most stylish women. Now, although she's married to a musician, she's much more than a groupie. Oh yes, she's an if-denominated TV presenter, and she's won everything from like Celebrity Mum of the Year to uh, VIP's Most Stylish Woman. Oh yes, she has. And it all started many, many moons ago, when she was the woman who told us where to avoid the traffic jams. Guess who it is yet? Yes, of course, it's Miss Lorraine Keane! <laughs> exactly. Let's have a look inside. Oh my gosh. Now I'm going to put slipper down for two minutes so I can admire the shoes. Like this is literally every woman's dream. Do you know how many you have? I don't. No, I don't. Purposely. So you have your comfy boots and a top. You've kind of some of them are not so comfy. <laughs> some of them are like, yeah, but it's, this is fashion. Oh my gosh. Jimmy Choo's. Now if you had go to the problem is I actually like all types of looks and styles and trends so it kind of just depends on how I feel when I wake up in the morning and the climate as well and the occasion that you're at but because of that I can't afford myself because it's not like I have one particular look. One of the main things that I think is so admirable about you is the fact that you support our Irish designers because we've got amazing things. Absolutely. So why not? So let's have the red carpet is always a good place to showcase Irish design because it just means we get tons of photos and mentions and things like that. So although I wear a lot of, of Irish designers during the day, we do use some pretty good red carpet looks. Say, for example, this one I wore to the Iftis. It is Myra Fakuni. She's so, so talented as you can see. She's a mother of three. You know, it's just great to support other moms and other very creative people. You know? Yes, it is actually. Yeah, it's got all the added to bonus. Exactly. I've seen you in the red and the cream one as well. Yeah, that's sign of sign of that. Love that as well. And again, so boobies. Yeah. Oh, need a help. I so need it in them. the other way. I go the other way. You know, I actually got that fabric from Avoca, and it was for curtains. No way. Uh, yeah, and I asked Sai si again to uh, to make a dress out of it. It's just so just so good. Speaking of sleeves, uh, only recently you wore this to uh, the TV Iftis. Yes, I certainly did. I just love it because it's backless and anybody that knows my style knows I love backless because I actually prefer my back to my front. I have more going on, let's face it. So anytime I see a backless dress, it's like, yes! I don't think I get away with the backless number. Tell us about this gorgeous one here. I just wore this last weekend to the Irish Tackler Women of the Year Awards, which is my favourite event of the year. And it is stunning. I designed this with Geraldine O'Mara. You pocket! Now, I'm sorry, but designers, listen up, every dress should have a pocket. Yeah, why do us girls love our pockets? It's just, there's something just, it's very comfortable. It makes you go from being kind of, certainly on the red carpet, feeling like a bit of a lot of people. How many times have I done it over the years? I probably feel the same. I actually get into the pains and vomit, and I still end up with like a, you know, dry lip with the gum sticking out and showing too much teeth. When you have pockets, you just... You see, I always feel like you need something to do with your hand, and I can't always have a glass of champagne in my hand, so a pocket is so good. I need to see some of your handbags. Show me this one here at the end. This is the cutest. You know, I bring this out at night, and people just actually sit there touching it. Yeah, I'm just passed on down the table. Shoes. Doesn't fit anything. Even a lip gloss. That's not even the shape. Your iPhone from that thing. <laughs> It's just so cute. Is this what I think it is? Yes, Balman. H&M, Balman. You went in with all the crazy people to try and get yourself a piece. Amanda, it was frightening. I brought Amelia, my 12-year-old, and she actually stood there for most of the time with her mouth open going, this is like something out of a really bad American TV movie. They were killing each other to get pieces. It is, it is absolutely stunning. Yeah, it is. But then... Rosie and Anna Davidson, I met her on the way out, and Rosie has the same one, so really, I can't compete with that. <laughs> don't be silly, don't no, be silly. No, no, I've seen her legs, and her. Hang on, you've, just, got, you've got gorgeous legs, tiny legs. and I think that dress would suit somebody with smaller boobs. So you're in, you're in. You're oh, definitely in there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, it's so stunning. Anyway, listen, didn't you tell me you had a special dress for this show? Yeah. Oh, 
needs to put up security gates. If that broker won't go you to the house again. You know what? Green has an uncertain rate. You know what I'm saying? Well, she has the most amazing sense of style naturally. That's why her wardrobe is so great. She is such a great place. You walk in there now, you'd swear it.